It's time for your board game dessert, folks. It's time for Game Pie. Game Pie is, of course, when Mandy and I serve up a selection of games curated by our whims and our excellent taste because we hate ranking things, but we love yummy pastries. I mean, who doesn't? Here we are with a very special Game Pie to my dear co-host, Mandy. So Mandy, why don't you tell the kind folks out there what our Game Pie of the Week is? Well, everybody, da da da. I was like, oh, Canada. <laughs> I feel like one of those commercials. Do, 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 do. If you're Canadian, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But our game by today is we're, well, we're, we're looking at games, some of our favorite games that we like from Canadian designers. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> excellent, so. excellent. Because I think, yeah. Mindy, you were saying it's Canadian Thanksgiving coming up, right? It is Canadian Thanksgiving coming up, so by the time this airs, it'll be the weekend after this airs. Perfect. Perfect. So, to honor our lovely Canadian folks and all the amazing talent and Mandy it's one of the things I love most that you do is you always highlight when an illustrator or designer or somebody involved with making of the game is from Canada I just love your 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 patriotism (laughs) my goodness I try (laughs) so as usual why don't you serve up the first slice sure so the first slice uh of my I don't know Canadian designer game pie uh, is The Godfather. And this was designed by uh, Eric Lang, who is, hey, oh, Canadian and actually lives not too, not too far, but a few hours is not too far <laughs> from me. And uh, The Godfather is one of those games where, honestly, I didn't think I was going to really like it. And surprisingly, very much enjoyed myself. I think Eric was surprised too when I told him I liked it. He was like, really, man? I didn't think that'd be your type of game. Well, hey, everybody, it indeed was. And I won't get into too many details of the games, but I don't know if you can actually find it anymore. From what I've been told, I don't know if they're they're still making that game, but if you can get your hands on it and give it a try, The Godfather is quite good. And it's thematic, falls in line with uh, like the like the TV show and like uh, the movie. So The Godfather. Excellent. First slice up for me is just something dear, near and dear to my heart, and that is Steven Universe's Beach of Palooza, designed by Erica Buyari, Buyaris. Buyar, Buyari? You got it, Buyaris. Buyaris? It's, it's Greek, right? I it think. is Greek. But yeah, so Steven Universe is one of my favorite TV shows, and Steven Universe Beach of Palooza is a lighter weight game, but just steeped in that theme. And I happen to know that the designer, Erica, is also a massive fan and the yes. perfect designer to do do this game because she just infused the game with the spirit and the details of the show. So every every time you're playing this game or looking through the components, it just it just rings out to the fan in me. I love the game and uh, I I happen to know Erica and I love Erica too. So it's a perfect combo. Yeah, that was a really good choice and yeah. Nobody does those those types of games like Erica. <laughs> so my next slice of Canadian designer pie uh, is My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria, the deck building game. And this was designed by Christopher Chung. And this game is so good. Like, I don't even, I'm not even a huge fan of deck building games, but I do love My Little Pony. And this game slaps. Okay, yes, I'm using the lingo now, everybody. <laughs> But uh, it's a game that I've played solo, and we all know how much I love playing solo. But it definitely is one of those games that has the cute theme, but it actually has like the design to back it up. And um, it's a it's a it's a challenging co op, but still a lot of fun. And I actually have I think all most of the expansions now. I think there's one more that came out that of course I'm gonna have to get. But really enjoyed this. So uh, great job, Christopher. I really enjoyed this one. So that's My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria deck building game. <laughs> Excellent choice. I also love this game. I don't feel compelled to own every expansion. I think I have one or two for it already. Yeah. But the expansion I really want is that there's a crossover with the Transformers yes. deck building game. Yes, I have that. That's the one expansion I need. I need my Transformers, My Little Pony card play together. I'm just very excited about that. 
<laughs> All right. Next slice up for me by Canadian designer or designers mm-hmm. is Akrotiri from the Bamboozle Brothers, Senfung Lim and Jay Cormier. Akrotiri is a pretty meaty two-player game that is a pick up and deliver. It's got some really clever things about positioning and where you are looking at the tile tableau as you go and the choices that you have to make, the pathing element to it. Everything about Akrotiri comes together beautifully. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal game. It's probably a top 100 game for me just in general. And, hey, just happens to be from some wonderful Canadian designers. Yeah, good choice. That would have been on my list as well. So a really, really strong game. So next up on my list, well, this game brings back memories because I'm pretty sure I knocked the table and potentially knocked down other people's display. <gasps> oh, uh, this is game, bad. That's well, bad. And in this game, yeah, like that's it. It's a wrap. And that is Junk Art. And this is designed by Sen Fung Lim. And it is a dexterity game. Yes, never thought in a million years that I'd be into <laughs> dexterity games, but here we are. And uh, this is actually when one of the first games I played when I was kind of coming back into the industry. And of course, I knocked a table and knocked everybody else's pieces down, including my own. So didn't score too well. But we had a really good time. A lot of fun. Junk art. I, if it's still available, it's one you should try if you have not already. Excellent. Uh, excellent choice. Next up for me is Blueprints by Eves. Ah. <laughs> oh, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so we have a show notes doc, and Mandy corrected my spelling so that I would pronounce this correctly because she she wrote it correctly. I misspelled it by accident. So Eve's Torigny. Do I need to do it properly Eve's, for you? Yes. Why don't you? Eve Torigny. Eve Tourny. <laughs> Eve Tourny Blueprint. This is a small box game that was originally published by Z-Man Games. I honestly don't know what the status of it is right now, in yeah. which dice represent building materials. There are cards that indicate the structures that you're trying to achieve. You're dr- drafting these dice out of, uh, you know, out of the box lid, basically. And you get to build little building structures three-dimensionally as you're stacking these dice. It's incredibly c- clever. It's super duper fun. I, I've always been a huge fan of this game and honestly Mandy until you told me that we were gonna do this game pie I didn't even realize it was designed by Canadian designers so I learned something new tonight okay see learning all the things yay good choice that's such a good game and uh, before I go to my next slice of pie I'm sorry I should have added for junk art uh, Jay Cormier was also someone who was uh, designed on that game as well my apologies Jay and my last slice of pie, well, funny enough that it is too also a dessert, and it is Cupcake Empire. And this is by Aleduc, who lives in the same city as me, as does Eve, actually. So a lot of us live in the same area. And Cupcake Empire, literally that. You were trying to build your empire. And I remember this game so vividly because of jam pants. Suzanne and Ashley will know what that means. <laughs> Oh, wow. Is this Jam Pants game? This wow. Is jam pants game. One of the pants of the little me- or little people that were in the game actually had like a little red splotch that looked like, well, jam. Um, this is also the game that Suzanne and Ashley decided to destroy me in, even though I was nowhere close to winning. And they were like way ahead. But, you know, they had to make sure that my empire did not, in fact, become an empire. So Cupcake Empire, lots of memories, but also a very good game. Get good, Mandy. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right. To wrap up our Canadian designer games game pie, I mean, part of me is like, ugh, another Eric Lang game because <laughs> Eric Lang is just so big in the industry. But then part of me is also like, how can you not have an Eric Lang game? So I have an Eric Lang game. I like a lot of Eric's games, but I thought I wanted to mention XCOM here because mm, XCOM – to this day, feels a little different, a little fresh. It is an app-integrated licensed game, so the official like XCOM video game. And what this game did with the app integration and the roles and the way that you're playing this board game together and you feel like the, the tension and the stress is so real and it really emulates that RTS-style video game brilliantly. I still love XCOM. I still own XCOM. It's probably a decade old now. Uh, It's a great game and something a little different from Eric as well, which I think is really, really cool. So XCOM designed by Eric Lang, of course, famous Canadian designer. And XCOM's a hard video game from what I remember. So I'm sure the board game is uh, much the same. And Eve, 
Don't kill me. I don't know what is wrong with me tonight. I'm exhausted. Eve was also a designer on Cupcake Empire. So Eve Tourigny, who we heard from earlier with Blueprints, co-designed Cupcake Empire with Al. I think it's just because I spend more time with Al. That's probably why it came up. So Get Eve together. I know. I'm sorry, Jeez, everybody. I'm really Mandy. tired. Eve, don't hate me. We're celebrating <laughs> Canadian designers and you're insulting Canadian Eve, designers. see you next game day, okay? <laughs> Excellent. So there you have it. I I mean, honestly, it was really fun to do this one, Mandy, because I learned about a designer that I didn't realize was from Canada. And it's it's so great. (laughs) I think board games is such an international hobby with creators all around the world contributing to the wonderful games that we love. And it's nice to recognize that. So I'm, I'm thanks for suggesting this game pie. If you have suggestions for a future game pie, or if you want to correct me on how I said (laughs) Eve's Torigny's name, or anything like that, you can email us at saltandsassgames at gmail.com, or you can comment in our Board Game Geek Guild on boardgamegeek.com, where Guild 4131, and we'll have an episode chat in there an episode thread there we do want to get back to where we're we're announcing what the game yeah. pies are so you can chime in but it's we just, no way was that i just i can't plan ahead that way right now so <laughs> we'll get that going again or you can always hit us up on the social media places as well yes oh that's me ha huh, social media so you might be listening to us here on well the youtube where we post this or potentially watch us when we do live streams on Twitch, and you can find us at both of those places at Salt and Sass Games. So that's Salt and Sass Games. You can find us also on the Twitter. That's right, I said the Twitter at Salt and Sass Games. Salt and Sass Games. You can find me on Blue Sky Twitter, Instagram, all the things at six one three Mandy. That's Mandy with an I. How about you, Suzanne? And you can find me on all the social media spaces, especially Blue Sky right now. I'm at 425Suzanne. Just take care of yourselves, stay hydrated, and play a lot of games. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.